I'm Joseph Okwara from Uganda. Well, I'm uh, very delighted to share my experience with uh, other people. I've had a heart issue since uh, April last year. And then uh, I tried getting medication in, in Uganda and in Kenya as well, but it wasn't uh, successful. So I came to Yashoda Hospital and uh, thanks be to God, uh, I was uh, helped very much. I, I came in November and uh, some tests were done, angiogram and others, and uh, it was detected that uh, my heart uh, needed help with a device of uh, Elvert. So with that, my health had really deteriorated by that time. So on 13th of December, I was admitted in preparation for the surgery. And uh, it was done quite fast enough. And by 24th, the operation, the procedure was done. And thanks be to God, it was successful. I now have my elbow, my connected to my head and my heart, and the battery is over here. So it's a new life for me that uh, I have to live by. But I thank God that uh, it has given me a better life. A life that uh, I don't need to be down every time and uh, going to the hospital for medical treatment. So with that uh, operation on 24th, I was kept in ECMO for, for a while and uh, that helped very much in uh, my recovery. Mr. Joseph was a young man who came to us from Africa. He was referred to me for evaluation of his severe heart failure. Initially, when uh, the disease in the early stage, we can treat these people with uh, medications. In some, in some situations, we can even um, implant devices such as special pacemakers called cardiac resynchronization therapy devices. And these uh, will help a majority of patients. But there comes a time in the stage on the progression of this disease that in some individuals, in spite of the best medications, the best treatment modalities, the heart failure does not respond to treatment and they are classified as end-stage heart failure. So he was suffering from what we decided was end-stage heart failure. In the situations, the options are limited because maximal medical management has already been tried and has been found to be ineffective. So generally, we have only two options in these patients. One is to go for a cardiac transplantation. So heart transplantation is the final destination therapy for some of these patients. But this patient, there were unique logistic problems of uh, getting him for a heart transplant. He was a foreign national and it was not legally possible for him to offer a transplant. So we offered the next best thing that was available to him. That was a left ventricular SS device. So this was offered to him as a destination therapy. As a destination therapy, we mean that this would be the final therapy for him in terms of improving his quality of life and also improving his lifespan. In preparation for this left ventricular assist device, we performed a cardiac cath on him. We assessed his uh, pressures in the lungs. We assessed his circulation. And then we optimized his medical management to a certain extent that he was fit for the surgery, for the procedure. And subsequently, the surgical team, led by Dr. Naresh, Dr. Ravikant, and Dr. Madhav, they took over the patient and performed the procedure. Yeah, when Joseph came to us, uh, he was relatively stable. So we were like, uh, no, uh, he was having biventricular heart failure. So that is a little advanced stage of heart failure. Uh, it was an operation which went on for nearly seven to eight hours. Post operation, we implanted the LVAD, which, which is a device. We put it into the one chamber of the heart. And around the 20th day of his surgery, we could remove his temporary device, which was given for the 
right side of the heart and after that slowly we weaned him we got him out of the bed and made him walk told him to uh, practiced him to do a few exercises like cycling while sitting on on the chair and doing a cycling and then a little bit walking and all almost month after his surgery he is ready for discharge